where he's doing just that. Hanging out with the beasts. I see one. Oh, no, that's Hey, good morning, everybody. Yes, we are live out here at the zoo this morning celebrating Father's Day. And we have our friend Lindsay and the other Lindsay, the law firm of Lindsay and Lindsay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we spell different. Is that how it works? Do we do, do you guys want to do the tortoises first? Okay. All right. So let's talk tortoise. Let's tor tortoise talk today. Uh, okay. So which one's the dad? This is the dad. This is Herkimer, and he will be celebrating his 90th birthday alongside the zoo on uh, Saturday, June 17th. Herkimer, you don't look a day over 89. Um, uh, so, so I, we've been asking about the how the dad works in the familiar family unit uh, that is the tortoise. So, so how does the dad? Does he like hang out and everything, or is he, he a solo does guy? Does not. Oh. He actually provides no parental care. To Anasazi, oh. our his son, the other desert tortoise that we have, um, yeah, these guys actually they do not like other male tortoises because they're competition Ooh. out in the wild. Uh -huh. So they, the females lay the eggs, those eggs hatch, and they are out on their own to provide and survive for themselves. Really, it's gonna be lots of therapy in your future. You know, dad didn't, didn't pay much attention. Uh, I understand. Uh, that is interesting. Yeah, That's really interesting. Absolutely. Is that a normal thing in the uh, in the the shell creature world? For not having much parental care, yeah. it is. Oftentimes, the the babies of tortoises and turtles tend to look just like smaller versions of their parents. So they're kind of ready to take on the world. Their eyes are open. They can see, find their own food, find their own protection. So they're more capable than some other species of animals of kind of starting their life without that parental care. Very interesting. Thank you, Lindsay, Thank for you. teaching me all about that. Now let's go to the other Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay, who are your friends back here? Uh, we have our Red River hogs. Our whole family here. Whole family. Okay, which one's dad? Dad, you can tell uh, with his face there, a little more white, kind of bigger there. So he's right in front, and he's got that big, longer snout with all that white. And then mom is over there on the far left. What's the story with the ears? These are the, their ears are fascinating. <laughs> They are. We call them uh, tassels. You can see Mom has very good ear tassels. She really does. Yeah, it looks like a like a bike, you know, from like the <laughs> '50s or something. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's for uh, just the Red River hogs. That's just one of their features there. Does it have a purpose, or is it just there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty much just there. These guys, um, they are good at swimming, however, and they also can be on land, destroying any vegetation in their path. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're rooters, huh? Root. Very much so. They use that snout to um, really root through the ground and very good sense of smell. But they'll use that uh, snout just to kind of push almost like a bulldozer. And they find every crumb of food, which they're working on at the moment. They really are. Now, you have a bucket here. Uh, this looks tasty. What, what, are you, what are you feeding them here? I've got some other stuff here. We'll fling it out and see if anybody wants to go for it. Hopefully, I won't hit anybody. <laughs> And then also my bucket, I got, oh, dad got the tube. Oh, got the tube. So you can see him at work. <laughs> a bunch of grapes came out and there's some apple. And then I've just got some other greens and some little biscuit that we use here at the zoo. It's called leaf eater. Primarily the primates eat leaf eater, but these guys can have it as a special treat now and then. Can I, can I admit something to you real quick? <laughs> I think I can sit here and stare at the ears all day long. I, that, I'm just fascinated by that. That is so crazy. Well, I'm glad you're getting a good good look here. Like I said, obviously mom's got the best ear tassels of the bunch, but sometimes they will come off. Or These guys, as true pig form, will squabble over food sometimes. So every sometimes they get their tassels kind of... Torn off a oh, little really? bit oh, by yeah. their neighbor. It's well, uh, they just come out real easy. I mean, uh, it doesn't I'm, cause them any injury. I'm not one to judge. I've had some uh, really uh, angry uh, dinners, <laughs> and, and especially Thanksgiving back in Alabama. Uh, does Dad play like a big role in the family? Because we just met the tortoise, and the tortoise is like, "You're born. You're done. I'm done with you." What does the dad? Does he hang out and everything? Yeah, it's a little bit different uh, here in, in Pigland. Dad is really, really important. Um, Mom will build a nest for herself and give birth, um, usually more than one piglet. In this case, she had four, so that was all from the same litter, and they're a little over a year old. And Dad, from the very, very beginning, is a part of that family unit. As a matter of fact, uh, what we've seen, this is Daisy's third litter, uh, the piglets actually prefer dad over mom 
So they'll hang out as soon as they're able. They, of course, have to nurse with mom, um, but dad is where it's at. They all want to be with him. You know, I get, I get that a lot in my family as well. You know, the kids really <laughs> prefer me and hang out. Dad. Yeah, that's right. Fun dad. How are they doing uh, as far as uh, uh, their status around the world and stuff? Are they, they not protected and everything? or what, what, what Red they? River hogs are actually really, they're not endangered so much. So they are doing pretty good out there in the wild. Um, so we don't have concerns with that. No, that's good to know. Well, good job, Dad. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for being fun, Dad. Fun Dad. <laughs> Fun dad, the red river hog. Thanks, Lindsay, for hey. teaching us that stuff. That was really interesting stuff. Their ears are fascinating, right? I'm telling you. They're like little dobbies or something, you know, for Harry Potter. So I know. Feel like you fit in. Exactly. Uh, we're going to go meet some giraffes. We'll find out a dad giraffe and how he interacts with the f f family unit coming up in just a little bit. Yeah, you guys you. can bond a little bit, right? Right? Little bro time. Can look you up and down mm. like, what kind of giraffe are you? <laughs> yeah. Little, little bro time. <laughs> Where did you come from? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cody, thanks. Well, the world works.